Russia has attacked Ukraine and justified it with its reasons. But by looking at the big picture, it seems the main loser in this battle will be the US dollar. As the global currency reserve, the dollar must be a stable asset to save the people's wealth and encourage them to tribute their products and commodities to achieve it. Therefore, high level of inflation can damage this eagerness to the US dollar. By the way, we are not going to discuss about the more disruption in the global supply chain or increasing in the commodities prices and high rate of inflation in the dollar zone. There is a so important element here which isn't obvious at the first look. This element is the intention to trade oil and gas with the currencies other than the dollar. The vendors as a whole are mostly unsatisfied about trading their wealth with the currency which has been created out of the thin air. And its unstability signs can't be hidden under the carpet anymore. While it is only one aspect of the vendor side problem and Saudi Arabia's intention to trade its oil with Yuan is the famous example of it, on the other side, Russia is signaling these days to trade its oil and gas with crypto or domestic currencies. Of course, this option belongs to foreign states and for the others who have shown their anger to Russia, it has proposed them to trade oil and gas in return of the hard money, which is referred to gold or ruble. It means, for purchasing energy from Russia, they have to admit that the dollar or euro doesn't represent the real wealth anymore. From the customer's side, I mean Russia's friend states, they will be open to that because they don't need to pay the cost of currency exchange to achieve the dollar. Also, they won't have any fear from breaking the rules of using dollar and get sanctioned by the United States government. The last economic ring in this discussion is the lack of essential characteristics for an international phenomenon whether it relates to the economy or not, which the dollar has lost them before and we will discuss them in the next video. To get informed about the future videos publishing, please click on the subscribe. Of course, you can make us grateful by commenting your voice opinions and suggestions for future subjects in the comment section. See you soon.